Real Estate Appraiser Tip Number 17, Effective Age Life Depreciation okay, Method. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Effective Age Life Depreciation Formula. Now, this is some real estate appraisal basics. This is one of the first formulas you're ever going to learn. And anyone can use this, uh, especially people that are flipping homes. So, over here we have theoretically a building, right? Now, you can use this formula for commercial or residential. Now, theoretically, we're going to say that this building cost $500,000 uh, originally, right? And, uh, or in, it's actually, it's worth $500,000. Now, it's 10 years old. This building is 10 years old, right? That's your effective age. The effective age, 10 years old. So you got the number 10, right? You're gonna divide the total expected economic life. Now, theoretically, we're gonna say that building has 50 years total to it, right? 10 divided by 50 equals the depreciation percentage, your calculator should say 0 0.20, okay? So now we're here, now we have a percentage, depreciation percentage. Move it over two spaces, bam, 20%. So now we're at 20%, right? Now we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna show you it on uh, the actual formula. That's the number that you're going to put into your calculator. I'm explaining it up here as where we got those numbers. So now you're going to take the total value, which was $500,000. You're going to multiply it by that 20% that we came up with. That's going to kick you out 100,000. 100,000. This is the dollar amount of depreciation. This is the end of your formula. Um, this formula has its pros and its cons, right? Um, there's other things. This is just a basic example of it. But there's other things that can go into it. For instance, if people have been updating and repairing that building or residential uh, house. And if that's the case, then the over here where we have the estimated 10 10 the number 10 it might be less so like let's say they've been putting in new windows stuff like that well then you might have a number like five you know half that but this is just like if they've never done anything to it and this is the formula we're taught in uh appraisal basics and you know, to determine the depreciation of a $500,000 building using the effective age life depreciation, when built, the building had an expected economic life of 50 years. Its current effective age is 10 years old. Given these facts, you can calculate the building's depreciation. Um, so now you guys can um, understand one of the methods we use in real estate appraisal. If you ever have any questions or you ever want me to cover some content in the future, feel free, you know. This is an important one, though, for uh, some basic stuff. Because when we go out there, we have to calculate the home's effective age, you know. And we got to come up with a formula for that. This is one of them that we use. Effective age means the age of property that is based on the amount of observed deterioration and obsolescence it has sustained, which may be different from its chronological age.